April No K. So for those of you that don't know, I am Meg from the YouTube channel and blog Meg's Boutique and today I'm going to be doing a really exciting tutorial which is going to be a 1960s hair and makeup look inspired by the new musical Coming to the West End which is made in Dagenham and it's going to be at the Adelphi Theatre in October and I am so excited because I love musicals and it also stars one of my biggest girl crushes, Gemma Arton. She is stunning, so I loved creating this look around her character Rito Grady, as well as Twiggy and Bridget Bardot and all that stuff, it was so much fun, so I really hope you enjoy watching, and make sure you go watch the musical as well, it's based on um, the women machine is striking for equal pay and it's based on kind of real life, so it's real girl power, which is always good. And on that note, I shall crack on with the tutorial and any more information will be in the bar below. I'm going to go in with my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation and the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And I'm just going to even out my complexion and cover up any imperfections you have going on. But not too much um, base needed really because they also did look quite natural. I know that there's like pictures of Twiggy and she has outrageous kind of panda eye makeup but her face still looks beautiful and natural so that's what we're going to try and emulate. I'm going to go in with a bit more concealer, starting off with the Maybelline Lumi Touch Concealer on the under eyes. You'll notice that in the 1960s they all looked very wide awake and perky and they all had these amazing huge eyes so this should hopefully cover up any tiredness and give me the same effect. They also weren't very bronzed up I don't really think, however they had fantastic cheekbones so I'm going to take the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer and use it just to chisel my cheekbones. The looks also didn't seem to have too much colour in them, they were quite minimal in terms of colour I guess. You can tell I've been doing my homework, can't you? Um, so basically for blush, I just can't not have any blush. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Touch Blush, and I think this is in peach. And um, just for a little hint of colour on the cheeks with my Real Technique Stippling Brush. But nothing too crazy. I also really like a big sculpted brow, which is great because I love a big sculpted brow as well. So I'm going to take my Benefit Brow Things and my Bare Minerals Brow Brush and I'm going to sculpt my brows into some big sculpted brows. You can also use a pencil for this or I also use powders, gels, whatever you want, but I do find using the wax and powder, you can get a really good shape. Now here comes the really fun part and that is the eyes, and some people are a bit scared about doing any kind of smoky eyes, so what we're going to try and do here, which is the kind of eyeliner above the crease, might seem a little bit daunting but if I can do it you can do it so we'll do it together guys. So we're going to start by taking, ignore how gross my Naked 2 palette is, um, the Naked 2 shade Booty Call cool, which is here. Uh, yeah, We're going to take that all over the lid um, and into the inner corner and just under here as well. I've been doing lots of 1960s eye look research and it's all kind of based around this gorgeous pearlescent white. There's a really really nice Cara Delevingne look and um, where she's kind of got that 1960s thing going on. So yeah any white eyeshadow or this is kind of more of a pearly pearly white one will work really really well. You just want to build it up to be as opaque as possible. On a slightly more precise brush, I'm going to take it in the inner corners and just under. It's going to get really, really interesting, and we're going to start sketching. I don't know what the actual term is, but this crease liner that's what I'm going to call it the crease liner. We're going to kind of sketch that out using this blackout here. Tricky 
pierced bit and it is going back over this line with a more intense colour so I'm going to use the Their Real Push Up Liner from Benefit which is kind of a gel liner and a pen so it's perfect for this kind of look. To lining the rest of our eyes because I'm going to start by kind of doing smudgy line up with my Maybelline Master Smoky shadow pencil and I'm going to smudge that all along the top and just underneath here. Again this doesn't need to be too precise because I'll probably go over it with some gel. And you can also use a little spongy stick to smudge it into the lash line a little bit more which is good. smudginess put in, go in with your gel liner again, I have lost mine, here it is, um, and get a more kind of precise line on top and some more intense colour. Done with the liner, I'm going to go back with my MAC 217 brush and put some more of the white in as well as some smudging out with the grey. Ooh. Hi stuff all done. It's time to move on to mascara which is nice and easy. And we want to make this as clumpy and stick it together and doll eyesy as Twiggy herself um, from that like iconic visual that she did. So I'm starting off with the Bourgeois, what is this? Bourgeois Volume Clubbing Mascara. And this is just almost like a eyeshadow, eyeshadow, almost like an eyelash primer for this particular look. So this is just going to add a bit of volume and thickness on the base of the lashes. I'm going to take the Benefit Their Real Mascara now which is really good for creating kind of clumps because it has this little ball on the end that you can really push up with. So I'm going to do a weird technique of kind of going vertical with my mascara brush to make my lashes clumpy. but I have to steer away from it now because they just wore new lipsticks basically so I'm going to take my very favourite MAC Shy Girl and put lots of that on my lips. Hair wise I am going to try and emulate Bridget Bardot with what you want to do is take the top section like so and it really doesn't have to be too precise um, because we're going for a bit of a relaxed finish on this one. Top section and then twirl like so and push up so you get this beehive effect. look guys I really really hope you like it I must admit I really do quite like it and I'm gonna just probably just wear it to work or any opportunity I can get to wear a double liner and a beehive and um, or you could obviously just wear the beehive or the liner and tone things down a bit but yeah it's really really fun and I can't wait to actually see Maiden Dagnum to see this kind of look in action 
So yeah, I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. Please do check out Made, I think it's Made in Dagon and the Musical.com um, for like all the information on the show. I'll link all of their social channels below. Um, and make sure you subscribe to their YouTube channel as well. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Meg's Boutique, and my blog, which is Meg's Boutique, and my Instagram and Twitter. I'll link everything in the bar below um, so you can find everything you want. And yeah, and let me know if you want to see any more tutorials. And um, I'll see you very soon, guys. Bye!